I'm going to take you back out live now to the Kennedy Space Center. We're counting down to a SpaceX rocket launch just seconds away. Yeah, the Falcon 9 on the pad and ready to go with dozens more Starlink Internet satellites on board. Beautiful morning at the Cape, and this is the third Starlink mission in just the past five days for SpaceX. Two of those launches were here, one out in California. 53 satellites on top of that Falcon 9. Uh, SpaceX has launched 20 missions this year. 13 have been dedicated to Starlink, so it's a, it's a big deal. They're creating this huge constellation up there. 2,300 satellites currently in orbit, and they're hoping for a lot more than that. So um, exciting things are happening when it comes to creating broadband access to large portions of the world that don't currently have it. And we're hoping to see that jellyfish effect again. I know some of our News 6 uh, viewers were able to capture some video from wherever they were in Central Florida and send it to us. So maybe if you're watching right now and you have somebody standing outside with a camera, send us your shots because that can be so fun to see. Yes, and, and this launch was set for 620 and it was pushed back to this time now. We're about 30 seconds away. Let's listen in. T-minus 15. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Full power. And lift off. Vehicle pitching down range. Nominal first stage chamber pressures. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from launch complex 39A, carrying our 53 Starlink satellites into space. Now, moments ago, we did throttle down the engines on the first stage, and this is in preparation for Max Q. Max Q is Max Q is the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle sees on ascent. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Great callouts. Max Q should be coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. And there's that call. We just passed through Max Q. Now, with that, we have a few events happening back to back very quickly, one after another. That'll be Miko, or main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES 1, or second stage engine startup 1, and then fairing deploy. Miko is where all nine of those engines that you could see lit up on your screen. That is where those engines will shut down, and that helps slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which will be stage separation. That's where the first and second stage separates from each other. First stage will start to make its way back home here on Earth, while the second stage continues on its journey, taking the Starlink satellites with it, uh, with SES-1, or second stage engine startup one, and that's where we will light up that single Merlin engine on the second stage, and that second stage will then propel the Starlink satellites to its targeted drop-off orbit. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. Bearing separation confirmed. 
great views of all four of those events. We had Miko main engine cutoff, which we were able to see with the tracking Another camera. Another successful launch. We wow. Had stage and at such an early hour, it's fun. I bet a lot of people are outside right now stage. watching. Another about to land the first stage booster. And if they land it successfully, it'll be the 114th time oh. that they have done so. <laughs> and it still doesn't get old. <laughs> and this is the fifth trip for this particular booster. Mm -hmm. So, you know. He's been around, knows oh, yeah. how he's doing. Oh, yeah. Thanks again so much for joining us. If you're on the go, you can get updates on news, weather, and traffic on our website, clickorlando.com.